I hate these pigs. <laughs> Yo, welcome back to another episode of Forever Stepping. I am your host, Fabio De Senna, aka FD from the future, aka every single racist person out there. I want you to suck your mum 5,000 times. Look, before we get into the guest, I need you guys to like, comment, subscribe on the thing. But look, today we have the French legend. One of the most influential people to come on this show. She will swim rings around you and not get tired. We have the amazing Julia Lebosse. What's Gucci? Hey, hey. How are you? I'm, I'm good. I'm chilling. I'm yeah. doing good today. I'm happy to have you on here. I'm going to hop straight in with the kick of the day. I will start. Today I've gone with a shoe that I love. Also, shout out my guys Forever Lace, you know, always keeping me laced up. But look, I've gone with a shoe that I love. It's a big throwback for me. And I'm not going to lie, these are worn the fuck out. And they're going to keep getting worn the fuck out until they break. But I've gone with a humble, Stussy, Harachi, Nike, the re-release. This is the Olive. Uh, I think Olive and I don't even know. I'm not good with colorways, but... I wanted the brown ones. I never got them. I got these instead. And yeah, man, so was beat out. These are beautiful, man. I love these with my whole heart. So comfortable. Yeah, mm. I think I'm probably going to buy a couple more colorways, but these, I love these. They are fresh. They are fresh. These. Ooh, the, wee. I think New Balance 2002 are the Sea Salt, I think. I've yeah, just, yeah release that like yeah they're just i managed to get these early well not early but like earlier than other sites and right, yeah right, they're right. just such a great like no, summer they're shoe clean. they're so Ooh. so comfortable mm. and like the details of like the patchwork and oh, oh they're so sick no they're clean and, man yeah just great summer shoe we aren't forever stepping so i need to ask you the special question i like to ask everybody and that is have you ever worn fake kicks and if so what shoe was it <laughs> i actually have ah, no! they, they were like really bad like really <laughs> bad things i think i think it was Oh, so when Yeezys were like a, like big, like 2017, I think okay, okay. I think I got these from like they were from like Primark, and I think my uh... mum bought them for me, and they were like the most pathetic like I think Attempt. they were the turtle turtle dove colorway like kind of okay. like that, but yeah. <laughs> just, just like so they didn't even look remotely real, but right. I actually wore them so. <laughs> <laughs> Like, I need to ask you, like, when, when was it for you? Like, when did you first get into sneakers? What was the earliest memories you have of sneakers? Because you said you were born in 02, so you were coming up in the noughties era. So let's get into it, man. So I think I just always liked shoes. It was just mm. like, I guess my way of like expressing myself, that was kind of wearing a, like a colorful pair of kicks was like my way of like, I guess expressing my personality because I was I was always quite like shy and just right, didn't right, really right. speak much. So my shoes were where it was at. So okay. yeah, I think I always liked shoes, and then I guess sneakers just followed and yeah. just surfing online because like sneaker culture just isn't wasn't a thing where I was from. Like okay. yeah, we were wearing the freaking fake Vans and <laughs> <laughs> like Dunlop Converse. Like come on, it was not. We were not. Mm. Yeah, we were not with the I feel you. Shit, so. I feel you. So, so do you remember like one of one of the first sneakers that kind of you were like, raw like this sneaker stuff is actually quite fun. Like this is cool. Like, do you remember the first one for you? Like, which which shoe was that? Oh, I don't know if I can pinpoint one exactly. Okay, but hmm, I think 
I think it was the MX90 actually. Okay, yeah. Something along those lines. I think I ended up, I think one of my first like Nikes was like a pair of like pink and white like MX. I think it was 90s from like eBay. Okay, and, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I really, <laughs> I wore those so much. No, I just, yeah, like having, I guess, a slightly more expensive shoe was kind of like, this is so like, cool. This is so sick. Like, you can just, it was such like a different like feel and I was like this is yeah, so yeah. comfortable and I feel so fly and like yeah, yeah I, <laughs> I feel you I feel you so do you think okay let me ask you this then so in terms of like later down in your like sneaker career which was the first shoe for you where you were like wow this is crazy like the first one you bought or got given where you were like wow this shit's lit like Take us to um, that point. I think, honestly, recently I got mm. the, I got given the Casablanca New Balance 327s. Mm. And I Cold. think, I like, I saw them months back in what, early 2020 when they first. Right, 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 like, yeah. When they first like showed them and I was like, this is like, this is me in a shoe, like. Okay, <laughs> yeah. It was kind of like a mix of my style, um, like, yeah, I guess like with lifestyle and like, I guess, cause I've like stopped swimming now and kind of like moving into like this kind of weird lifestyle sporty yeah. thing with like my style. So like, mm. this was literally like me in a shoe and I was like, this is yeah. so sick. Yeah, and, nah, I feel Yeah, you. that was like, I feel you. Yeah. And, and, and the 327 is mad comfy. I've got a pair, of yellow and oh, white pair. I love them. So comfortable. Them and the Harachis are probably like my go to's in terms of like run around shoes. Like them two are getting beat up. That brings me into my next question, which is my first section of the show. And that is what are the top five sneakers of all time, in your opinion? I think. Even though, like, the New Balance 327, like, it kind of... I guess it was really hot in 2020, and then it's kind of fallen off. Right. I think they're so... I think they're up there, okay. in my opinion. Like, okay. That's I think calm. they're one that I'm I'm always going to really yeah. love. And, yeah, I think they're really sick. And I really like the Nike Shocks, um, the Shock TL, I think. They're, they're pretty sick. I, I like think, Shocks. Just, look, I have the, um, the like... I have like a platinum pair that yeah, just yeah, look yeah. like space shoes and I'm like Trust me. This is the, so sh sick. the shocks, yeah, I've said it. I've said it on my on my QA as well. I feel like the shocks are probably the most underrated shoe ever. Because right. the, the comfortability is outrageous. And the fact like the colorways are so plain, so they go with like everything. I think the Adidas forums are pretty Okay. I'm thinking I'm kind of just thinking like timeless pairs and yeah, they're okay. pretty pretty hot at the moment. Like yeah. you have the Bad Bunny collaboration yeah, that kind cold, of went cold. crazy. I really oh, like I'm that. So so I really sad like I that. missed out on them, but trust me. Trust me, but I feel like they've brought like a nice wave of them in. Like the colorways have been nice. They've mm. done a little high top as well. I like yeah. it, man. I've seen people cut off the strap, which is yeah. Crazy. I don't know. I I grew up in an era where we would rock like high top um, Air Forces, black Air Force Ones, and we would do like mm. the strap outside the Velcro. You can't ignore the Jordan One. Like, can't ignore it. Like, it has to be has to be up there like I it's just, any any just colorways any colorways you love mm, i think i like the red toes not like the band or yeah, yeah, think, yeah. not the chicago like the red toes i think those yeah. were really nice okay that's but, nice because a lot of people yeah. love to say chicago ones and i'm just a bit bored of it i'm here to tell you right now we don't care let me tell you <laughs> right, let me... i'm gonna have to say the new balance 990 Ooh, okay just, okay. You like, like New Balance, in it? Are you sponsored or something? <laughs> Mind your business! You are the creator, the originator of <laughs> Sneakers by Women. So, let me ask you, when did this start? Why did it start? And, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, it started 
started like a, over a year ago now that I started the page just yeah just out of like frustration with seeing like just no women being highlighted and yeah yeah just not any women like being showcased by other media pages and things like that because yeah I guess I I think I just grew up thinking oh yeah it's just like a man's world and like I guess I was kind of I guess disheartened thinking like I kind of want to work in this industry and like that's probably never going to happen like because I just didn't see women there but yeah right. I guess through having lockdown and being able to dive even deeper into sneakers I was like there are women like here but they're just yeah. not being shown so I was like mm. why not show them why not start something since no one's done it already so yeah, yeah that's kind of how it started and that's how we got here today okay yeah no it's fire man when you know what's crazy the maddest thing is and I said it to you already is that I was following <laughs> the page <laughs> I was following the page for ages <laughs> couple months and then I think we we ended up crossing paths on LinkedIn and then I realized yeah. I realized who you were and then I was like what it's mad because like I was obviously watching your brand and like seeing everything that you were doing and I had no idea because you know like when you see something you don't actually realize there's somebody behind it because there's no like there wasn't a face to it at the time but now <laughs> we have <laughs> we have her here so yeah no I think it's fire I definitely respect it I think out of let me ask you this so I think you were the original like one that I was following in terms of a page that was representing women but now I feel like there is quite a lot of them out there mm. what's your opinion on on that um, I think the more the merrier like yeah. it's good to have other pages like doing the same kind of thing but in their own way because yeah like my page is one thing but yeah lots of other people doing their own thing doing podcasts and yeah, yeah. yeah doing really cool stuff and yeah we're like one little community at the moment yeah, yeah, yeah. shout out yeah, all the girls man that have come on the yeah. show man you already know us it's all love for every single time um yes. but one thing I, I really respected about your your platform is that i think it's like every monday like you show like all these um uh like vacancies and career paths and opportunities for like anybody to check out and reach out and yeah i feel like that's kind of that's why i gravitated to you like a lot more i think because i was like oh right like she doing something for us all you know like it's lit but yeah let's let's talk about the nitty gritty man like obviously i've had a couple uh, amazing women come on the show and we we've spoken about this before but i do agree with you in terms of like the representation of women isn't as strong as it could well isn't as strong as it should be you know and like i said this on the previous episode like i don't understand how let's say especially in the past five years how women aren't put in the same conversation when a lot of the most let's say influential like things that's happened in sneaker industry has come from women alone some of the craziest designs and like wild designs come from the women so it's like how can we not give the same respect to the people who are actually doing more for the industry and trying to change things and trying to you know do a new design or remix like Yoon I'll always say like I love how she just changed up the yes. one and it became a shoe now where it's like people like i'm not gonna lie she like that chicago like colorway that she might drop is uh, outrageous the royal blue i couldn't i haven't got any of them yet but i'm just either. saying i'm just saying like for her as an example it's like how can we not give the same respect to people who are doing stuff that is more outlandish and more risk-taking than what men have done for the past 45 30 years get me so yes. it is it gets me frustrated because i want to help but that that brings me into my next question because i've asked this already and i want to kind of dive in with you with this is like me as a male in the industry or just anybody in the industry women as well how can we help do this for women how can we 
try and make the change for women even if it's as small as just me or that's yeah how can we help yeah i think i did a post like a little while ago now like how to be an ally i guess basically aimed at everyone because yeah yeah i guess it's a whole like everyone has to be yeah just supportive and like lifting up others and like if your friend's doing something cool like like share it and like yeah just uplift and yeah make sure you have to stand up for what yeah i guess what you believe in and not yeah yeah just not let people i guess tear up a woman down and yeah just giving uh, not not necessarily giving opportunities but like yeah i guess yeah mentioning other people in the room and like yeah opening i guess opening the door for the people behind you yeah i guess that's like yeah i guess that's the most we can most we can do yeah no and like like i've said to all the women that's been on the show all the women i speak to within the industry like you have my full support like i would try and help whenever i can however i can you get me so but i wanted to ask you something that might be quite hard to ask i well sorry might be quite hard to answer but it's kind of like a random question i just thought of like do you feel like within this industry not just as a woman but just as a sneakerhead or somebody who wants to be involved do you feel like the industry not is bitchy but is kind of oh if you aren't at a certain level on your platform or have a certain amount of followers or a certain sneaker collection or you don't have the high pitched shoes do you feel like you're not as appreciated as much yeah definitely like yeah. i feel like it's so i guess just so image and like showing off your yeah. sneakers and like streetwear and yeah if you don't follow like this streetwear hype yeah. thing and culture and have like some dope instagram page then yeah you're probably going to be less highlighted and i guess that's just that's just the reality of the social media isn't it? at the moment yeah and, and yeah the growth of social media it's kind of turned yeah sneakers into more of a like status thing rather than mm. the culture but I yeah. think the culture still lives. Yeah. Kind of. Like, I agree. I, just I, gotta, I do agree. Just I feel like... a bit deeper. Yeah, I feel like you have to play the game. You get me? You have to know what mm. game you're getting into. You have to play it. And I feel like... Yeah, like you said, it's kind of like... It's turned into a status thing. Like, oh, if you ain't fly like that, you <laughs> we ain't gonna love it like that. You know what I'm saying? But I feel like it's kind of whack because a lot of the people who I've met doing my show and like networking to people and things like that, I know it sounds mad, but it is what it is. But you know what I'm saying? So I feel like a lot of the people I've met are so wavy and like not all of them have a million followers. And like, I don't really want to speak to the people who know nothing about trainers, but they have like 400k for I don't want to do that. I want to speak to the people who are really out here doing shit for the community, doing shit for their platform, their brand, and like what they want to do so yeah man i fully i fuck with everything you're doing man and, you know <laughs> yeah. i've been showing you love and shit so but yeah I, just, I really wanted to get you on the show just to like talk about just certain things because i feel like i've read some of your interviews and a lot of them have been like print right they've been like online mm -hmm. and like but yeah. no one's ever really sat down done video <laughs> you know what i'm saying put a face to the brand and that so it's lit i, I appreciate you coming and and doing this with me but look we are going to hop into the next section of the show. And that is, what are the top five sneakers you own personally? Let's get it, man. So, so personally, I guess I wouldn't put this in order. I'd just say this yeah. is like... My no order. Five, I don't like doing that to people because they, they, they start to panic. <laughs> oh my God, what is that? Hey. Not the 327 that we already on. discussed. Like, shout out Casablanca, shout out New Balance, shout out all them lot. Casablanca, like the details. The New Balance, she needs a sponsor as well because she's she's waving <laughs> a flag, but I'm telling you, she loves you lot. Yeah, these, I wear them so much. They're just, yeah. just so comfy. They're comfy, right? They are mad comfy. I don't know how to explain it because they're so light and they're yeah. so thin. Like the actual material doesn't feel so like thick and like crazy like a leather. But when you wear them, yeah, it's like so breathable and like, oh. Uh, oh, yes, sir. You know what's crazy? I feel <laughs> like 
What an asshole! Uh, they're somewhere on this wall. <laughs> they're somewhere on this wall, but they're the re-release, right? I think... I think they're the friends and family one. Jesus Christ. But, yeah, they're just... The details, like... There's so much... And there's, like, a little... I don't know if you can see, but, like... There's like a little yeah, stash yeah, yeah. pocket like in right. there's just so many cool details with these and yeah, right. they're my <laughs> only dunk actually. They are flipping fire, but hey, wait a second. <laughs> are you telling us something that we don't know? <laughs> How are you getting friends and family <laughs> sneakers? But yeah, the do the bodega guys have like reached out a few times and we've done We've done a few bits together on like my page and their Instagram and yeah, like they've been really supportive of what I'm doing and yeah, nah. just really nice bodega guys. Shout out bodega man because <laughs> to get a friends Shout and out. family these days is like yo, that's some gold dust shit. <laughs> we, we got a <laughs> we legend got in the building. In the building. <laughs> if you like <laughs> didn't know like already, no. nah, that's super yeah. fire man. I respect. Yeah. I love when brands do things like that as well. You know because. It shows that real personality behind their brand as well. So you know what? Shout out Bodega, man. You lot some real motherfuckers, man. I I appreciate that for real. They're cold as well. Following on from Bodega, got Damn! Damn! I didn't think they were gonna be that colorway, so I'm very happy. Cause they're clean. I don't even know what colorway that is. What is that? It's another bodega one, I think. Yeah, their latest one. So yeah. Very yeah, cool. I think their 15th anniversary, like, thing that they're doing, and so comfortable. Like, I didn't expect 990s to be this comfortable. Oh, no, nah, like, New Balance do their thing, man. They do their thing. Like, they kind of just look all right, but... I know what yeah, you mean. Yeah, like, on feet. Yeah, I like I like 990s. They're, the, they're proper dad shoe, in it. It is that swag, <laughs> but I know their comfortability level is mad. Did you Wait, did you get gifted those? Oh my God, Bodega. <laughs> so, send me a why. package. I don't even know why, like, they just send them over and I'm just, yeah. That's I'm so lit, man. Really, really thankful, but. Yeah, no, nah, 100%. Yeah, these a ton as well. Already seen these as well. Very these clean. Are one, these are one that I only wear in, like, has to be, like, not a spot of rain. Cause, oh, yeah, yeah it's definitely. Like, it's like suede. I know, yeah. And they would, I feel like, they will seep through that material oh. like on the toe that will seep through yes. and it'll be one of them things where it's like it's like concord 11s yeah the where where the laces are it's like that material but if you if something mm. seeps on that bit it's over man i've got quite a few nights but these are swear <laughs> down you know that's mad it is mad because I wait. Let me get this right. P P six thousand. P six thousand. Yeah. You know what? Yeah. It's mad because listen to this. I like I like <laughs> that shoe a lot. And let's say about four years ago, size did like a whole run of them. There was like every colorway Ooh. under the sun, like. And there was one colorway that was literally that colorway, but it was a men's shoe and the tick was gray. And then they had it all gray and it was gray and white. Okay. I'll throw them up on the screen. But these shoes, they're cheap. They're cheap, innit? They're like under Although, 100 pounds, I think. I think these. So shut the fuck up. For the people who don't know, you're French and Jamaican, right? And you got a little, yes. you got a little, you were born in England, yeah? yeah okay so oh, you've got okay. this nice mixture so i wanted to ask you like with your french and the jamaican heritage and do you do you think it inspires your your like style or does the culture in any way inspire like how you rock things like because they well jamaica alone is known for you know like the clocks the wallabies you know what i'm saying they're known for a lot of things so is there any any inspiration you take from each culture or? Hmm. 
I think I take most of my inspiration from like France. I think mm. I, I've gone there. I think that's the only place I've been other than the UK. I think I've oh, gone really? a few times to see my my mum's yeah my mum's family, and I just I I think I just really feel at home in France, and I think okay. I've kind of I guess I've adopted like bright colours, like I guess mm-hmm. kind of. Yeah, just brighter colors, kind of summery vibes. Even though yeah, the UK is raining all the time, but yeah, yeah sure. I, I kind of opt for yeah, lots of color and like mm-hmm. yeah, just I guess more like summery French vibes. I'd say. I feel you. Where where whereabouts in France are your family from? Um, Brittany. Okay. So, yeah. Okay. Brittany, very so. nice. Very nice. But nah, that's lit. That's lit. But look. We're going to hop into the section where everybody's scared of. You already know we're going to do what's going on here. But before we get into that, I'm not going to lie. You lot, out of all my guests, yeah, I couldn't find a single bad, embarrassing (laughs) photo of this girl. She got let off so nicely, but you know, it's my show, so we still have to do it. But look, we're going to do what's going on here. I'm going to throw some photos on the screen. You got to tell me what's going on here. So, what's Gucci? That say, was for... Say cheese. <laughs> <laughs> you got cheese like me? Uh, that was for... I think it was for Bodega interview. Okay. But yeah, like, I think I was trying to get some pics, like, um, I guess by myself. Because I think we in lockdown at that point right, right, so right. i guess i kind of i did my best but like i hate <laughs> these pics <laughs> you makes my i look so but this is an action shot you know what i'm saying this was action shot i think Oh, this was so far back. Like goggles on tight. You get me? Goggles, goggles on. on tight. Swimming cap <laughs> on tight. Everything. It's lit. So what? What are we what saying is... here? Are you winning? Did you win? I actually did so bad at this competition. <laughs> I remember it was... <laughs> it was just one of those like bad days. And what, what, yeah, why? Why? Why are you using the action shot from a bad day? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so, so for the people wait sorry <laughs> to cut you off for the people you don't know you know my reps the sea baby i'm from the sea baby i am from crawley so where she is in a photo is the leisure center we have in crawley it's probably like probably like the only f- amazing thing we have in crawley <laughs> but when i first saw this photo my mind was blown because i know where you're from in england and stuff so i was thinking yo why the fuck were you in my side to the my side to the England? You know what I'm saying? So please tell the people. So yeah, like it was for I think regionals. I think cannot remember the year, but mm-hmm. I think it was one of my first times going to regionals, and that was my first pair of like Nikes, like <laughs> colourful. Throw throw a C up for the camera in it. Let me get that. Throw a C up. <laughs> Come on, C baby. <laughs> But look, we always end on a nice one, so I'm gonna show you the last one. What's going on? Yeah, the um, yeah, the Soul Women's. They reached out and like I did a little piece with them, and yeah, I love what the Soul Women's are doing as well. Like I love their page, and yeah, just a nice, nice um, like UK kind of page based on like sneakers. But Mm. yeah, that was a cool one to do, and. That's lit. Like that yeah, shout out Soul Supplier, Soul Women's. I've spoken to a couple of the people yes. from both sides. I really appreciate them as well. I feel I feel like they do a lot, especially the Soul Women's is I could be wrong, but I believe the whole team is all women as well. So they mm. definitely they're doing it right, man. So shout out both sides. You already know. And this this interview was lit too. I read that shit. But yeah, no. That's it. We we had to end on a nice one. You're lucky I did. I couldn't find nothing. <laughs> but look, we're gonna hop into a little quick fire round. I'm gonna ask you some questions. You just gotta answer them quickly, yeah? Okay. Okay, cool. So we're gonna start with Nike Air Force or Nike Air Max. Air Max. Okay, okay. Just because Air Forces, I appreciate them, but they're just not wearable. Like the Come classic on. whites, like 
You wear them a couple of times and then... And they ain't even comfy like, like that. I, I've said this before. The Air Force One will brock your toes and you lot are just out here trying not to crease him. I was that guy. I'm not that guy anymore. No way. <laughs> My toes need help, bruv. But look, as a designer, Pharrell Williams or Yoon? Yoon. Like, I appreciate okay. what Pharrell has done. I think mm. he really kicked off a whole NMD thing back in the day. But yeah. Yoon, definitely. Like, she's just... She's just killing it at the moment. Trust me. Shout out you, man. Cold. Super, super cold. All right. I had one, but I'm going to change it now. So, New Balance or Reebok? New Balance. <laughs> I, think, I think Reebok have some really good, like, underrated, like, pairs. I think the Question Mids, like, Reebok mm. Club C. Mm. And they have some decent collabs. I love questions. Know, like, I, I, I love think questions. I think they have some pretty like nice silhouettes that I still don't have any Reeboks, but I'm looking to get some. But New nah, Balance, definitely. New Balance just uh, just won me over in the yeah. past year. I feel like, you. I, I I love both, but I feel like I waved the flag for. Nah, actually, I don't know because I love the question mids. I'm not gonna lie, and I grew up on Reebok, so I don't know. They both have a place in my heart, but. Mm. So, tracksuit or styling out? Um, honestly, I think tracksuit. Like, I've always okay. just, I guess, because doing swimming for so long, I just, I'd always I be feel in sports. Comfy and I feel like, even though I don't, even though I don't like, I guess, do as as much like intense sport as I used to, but I just. I feel really comfortable wearing yeah. like sporty stuff and I just, it's easier. Like I'm not, I'm not that fashion forward. Like I'm, I try, but I think I'm still pretty, still pretty basic, but I just like wearing sporty things. It's comfortable and- I feel you. Yeah. I feel you, yeah. I agree, I agree. Um, when you tie your shoes, do you lace them up or do you have them no lace? Oh, like, I feel like I'm starting to look into how can like, I feel like I lace my shoes just normally and I feel like okay. lots of people do it way more cooler, like looking or like the no lace or yeah, yeah, like yeah. this. Yeah, and I think, I think I just do normal, but mm -hmm. it depends, it depends the day. Cause if it's um, like the shoe, cause if like yeah. it's a shoe that's maybe a size, like a little bit bigger. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I sized up on like, you I might have, have to lace tie them a bit yeah, tight. Yeah. Like, I feel you. But, so yeah. it depends, yeah, it depends on the shoe. Yeah, okay. All right, we got the last two questions, yeah? <laughs> Jamaica or England? Um, I've never been to Jamaica, so I guess I'd have to say England for um, now, but okay. until I see Jamaica, then, then we'll have to revisit that question. Okay, say no more. Okay, and the last one, I know your family aren't from there, but Paris or London? I haven't been to Paris either. Damn. Actually, I've been to Disney. I've been to Disneyland Paris, but <laughs> that doesn't really, that doesn't really count. No, but it doesn't really. I think Paris just looks like a whole nother level of yeah. like fashion. And mm -hmm. I feel like I'd feel so like out of place there because I feel like I have okay. to dress up like crazy. So London for now, but Paris is on the bucket list of places to visit. I but look, unfortunately, that comes to the end of the show. I know that's heartbroken as well. <laughs> but I just wanted to ask you just to end, like, is there anything coming up? Any projects, anything you want to tell the people about? This is your time now. Um, I guess I've got a few things in mind. I'm just trying to, yeah, just grow the page and see what other things I can do. Yeah. Just um, launch the website and looking Ooh, to get yeah. content on there too. So, okay. yeah, just seeing where things go. Like, and yeah, I guess I'll keep the rest for when A it surprise. comes. Yeah, yeah, I feel you. But yeah, like I said earlier, man, you know you have my full support. You know, like anything you're doing, man's back in it. And yeah, I really appreciate you in, in this culture, especially for women as well. I really do appreciate you. And just as a male as well, I appreciate everything you're doing in terms of showing people opportunity, 
and things like that because a lot of people don't do that people want to keep the door closed you know people want to keep it all to themselves but you you definitely give off that vibe that you just want to help everyone so i really do respect what you're doing and what you are doing for the culture for the industry as well so god bless you thank you so much for coming on the show you know it's been a long time coming but i'm happy that we finally done it i'm happy that <laughs> i've uh got you on your video cool you get me got you put a face to the brand and that people people definitely want to see that man but look that has been another episode of forever stepping i have been your host fabio de senna fd from the future that's julia you already know the influential woman of the world but we out of this